Today we're going to paint a baby fox. Be sure to stay to the end of the lesson to see what we're going to paint next. In this lesson, I did use a photograph as a model. And I also created a template. So put your template in the middle of the watercolor paper here. Go ahead and spray your pans of paint and put some water in your palette. Let's use our liner brush to trace around the template. And load your liner with burnt sienna. Here we go. Little messy here, but that's easy. I can just take my brush, wet it, and just take the paint where I don't want it. Or even take your paper towel and dab it with some water and go to the spot that you want to lift the paint off. Go ahead and fade these lines here by wetting, to fade the lines by wetting your brush, dip it in the water. Like that. Okay, now we got the basic shape of the fox that we want. Let's load our brush with burnt sienna and start on the back here and spread some of that color. Along here. This is where the ear is going to be, so I want to, I'm going to leave that light for right now. Come down and give a light wash over here. Spread some of that color. Like that. It's looking pretty good. Now let's add a little brown to it. Burnt sienna and some burnt umber. Give it a little more texture adding by adding another color. And let's put some up by here, by the ear. Now again, if it's too dark, dip your liner brush in your water. Let's spread some more of that paint along here. Let's put a little bit of that color in the ear here. Bring that down. Along here. Now 
Now let's give it a good dry. Now let's work on where the eye is. The eye is going to be about right here. And it has an outline that's dark. So to make that mixture, we're going to mix our ultramarine blue with our burnt umber. Put it about right here and then come down like that. Now there's some black at the tip of the nose here. And then below, I'm going to add a little water to my brush. the there's the mouth and the gums are a dark color so there's a little black there just about like that so let's add a little brown down below here to make the lower part of the mouth there and bring that get a little more definition on there spread that paint like that that's looking pretty good now let's make the definition here's the one front leg and the other one is about right here so let's make a little more definition and let's use some of our burnt Sienna. It's about right here. Bring that up about like that. And spread it a little bit here. Put more color on our fox. Like that. Bring some down here. Spreading that color. Now there is some white here. And on this, let's work on this, this paw here. Now there's some dark spots. But there's also some of that reddish brown color. And I love using this burnt sienna. So let's put a little bit of the burnt sienna up here. I'm going to thin that a little bit and water it down a little bit. Bring it up here. Because this fox is going to be trying to reach out and touch something here. Which we're going to create later in our painting. And then bring that down here like that. Now, along here, there's some white. Now, you could try and use white space, but in this instance, I'm going to use some white paint and just add some there. And it might not show up super bright, but it's just a subtle touch, just a subtle touch here. And I might need to go back and rework that area. But right now I'm going to give it a good dry.
Okay, let's make the pads that the fox will have. And those are dark. So again, we want to make our mixture of ultramarine blue with burnt umber. That's looking pretty good. And put some of those pads they have. And some of that dark color goes a little further down. That's a little bit too dark. I'm just wetting my brush and lifting some of that paint out and kind of spreading that color a little bit. Just a little bit. And I want to thin that. I just want it to be really subtle like that. That's looking pretty good. Now, when I look at the fox right here, there's a water line in it. I don't like the look of it. So I think I need to add some more paint. And again, using the color Burnt Sienna, because it's a, they have quite a bit of this color in their fur. Again, I'm going to thin that and just slowly add some water to your brush. You don't want to do too much water at once because that will create water lines. So with watercolor, it's, it's like a fun experiment. And you just, you know, it's trial and error. But have fun with it and relax and don't be too hard on yourself. What I like with watercolor is that I learn something new every time I do a painting. And I sometimes will have unexpected things that that happen. And I think, oh, wow, I like that. And then sometimes I try and go and recreate it, and I struggle with that. But then I just let it go and try and have fun with it. So let's spread some of that, more of that sienna down here. And put a little bit more on the back here, the back of the fox. Right here. That's looking pretty good. Some more here. More on here. A little bit more on here. Like that. Then it's good to stop and pause. And, you know, if you feel frustrated, it's good to just walk outside or turn away from your painting and give yourself some time and then come back and look at it and you might see something different. So I want to add a little more color and to do that I'm going to use my liner and use a burnt sienna and add some of the burnt umber. Get a little more brown in some of the color here. It's a little dark. I'm just going to add some water on my brush and just kind of let the paint run and do its magic. There's some little dark fur. In the fur, there's some dark colors coming up. Let's put a little bit over here. Some up here, like that. That's looking pretty good. Let's spread some down here. The fur is a little bit lighter on the chest here, so I don't want to put too much there. Now in the ear there's little darker 
So I'm going to use my mixture I have here of my burnt sienna and burnt umber. Make a little more. Put a little bit, like about right like that. I'll lift some of that out. Like that. That's looking pretty good. Spread some of that over here. I think I'm ready to stop now. Except that I see I have some white gaps here. And I need to... I can fix that really easy by just adding some water to my brush and just spreading that paint like that. There we go. Spread this a little more like that. Okay, I like my playful fun fox. Now let's switch brushes. So we see that the paw is extending out. Now what is this paw extending out to? Well, there's some tall grass. So let's use our round with pointed tip brush, some sap green. And let's add some yellow ochre to it. Clean my brush a little bit. I'm going to put some yellow ochre on here. And I got some of the sap green. And that's kind of making a lime green. And let's make some blades of grass here. I'm starting on my left side of the fox here. I'm coming up. And then right where this paw is, there's some really super, super tall grass that's extending out. And we want to make those a little more definite, a little more defined, like that. And the fox is so little you don't see the tail. He's just a baby. Hasn't quite gotten that full bushy tail. Okay, now let's give this a quick dry. Now the grass looks pretty, looks flat, so we need to add another, some more dimension. And you can do that by adding more color, different shades of the same color or a totally different color. Let's put a little more sap green in our mixture here. Let's see, yeah, that's about another shade darker. Put some more tall grass here, like that. It's looking pretty good. Now we need to add one more shade, a little, a little darker green for contrast. Now for that, I'm just gonna use sap green. Got plenty of my sap green here, with a touch of burnt umber. That's looking pretty good. And put some little dark spots that are peeking out there. And just put it where it makes sense in your composition. Need to add a little more mixture here. Whoops. That. Just some 
few little strands here and there. Like that. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Then stop and look. Now the only thing I see I that I want to change is the the fox ear could be a little more pointier. So I'm going to take my liner brush and take a little bit of the burnt sienna hair. And extend the ear out a little bit. Just a touch. Just like that. You know, what I love with watercolor is it doesn't take much. It's a very delicate and you can make it bold, almost like a drawing, or you can make it loose, really loose. And, and it's just so many wonderful things you could do with it. I hope you enjoyed painting the fox today. I sure did. I find it so relaxing and just makes my day better. I hope it made your day better. In our next lesson, we'll be painting an orca. See you then!